Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Peter Pan Mofo. Today there was a new DLC, with that they added drift and drag races and some other content to Content Creator, which I will go over with you now. First off, a couple of menu changes, and now consolidating the audio settings and gameplay options. But they also added some new props, we got three dynamic props, I don't know why we haven't got all seven, but there's three of these that everyone likes knocking down on the bridge. And then you've got nine regular props, skinnier road pieces, a smaller fork which is only available in the barrier section for some reason. With the raised road section you now have 5 degrees and 15 degree turns for both the thin and fat sections, and a short fork section. And then there's a new category for this drift prop which for me was white and you had to change the colour of it to blue but that's the only colour you can have it. I think if you place these you can get precision drifts. So for the checkpoints you can start at whatever checkpoint you want to now. One, two, three, etc. But if you want to test the race to publish you have to test it at the grid. So for drag race there's a lot of lobby options greyed out that you cannot use. Maximum of four players. You have drag race options, you can disable the help text, then in nitrous options you can enable the boost, and then you've got conditions to have it available at the top gear, or choose what checkpoint you want it available at, and then you've got a delay from 0 to 5 minutes, and this will start after all other conditions are met, so say you've got checkpoint 2 condition, the timer will start when the player gets to checkpoint 2, in lobby options you can enable rounds so the host can choose whether to have multiple rounds when hosting the job. So drift race, you now have the point system enabled in drift races. I don't know why this wasn't an option from the start. And you can have a drift bonus zone where you get bonus points for your drifts. You can have this as a box or a circle and you can change the width, length and height of the box. And then you've got align to ground lengthways, which I have no idea what it does, apart from put little round circles at the ends. And then lastly, the new units. You now have a crowd cheer range, so when the player is in this range, the crowd will start to cheer. And there's a few new units available now as well. There is a donut option to have a car doing a donut. In the car options, the mod preset is now named. And you can have more than one mod now as well on some of the vehicles. Photographer, you can have him on his own or with a car. There's no cheer range for this. You've got burnout, where they'd be sat doing a burnout. And then a hydraulics option, the car will do hydraulics. These all have set ranges, so you can't change when they're going to trigger. And it seems like they trigger when you're quite close to them. But anyway, I'll leave the patch notes in the description once they come out. If you guys notice anything I've missed, any new bugs out there, let us know in the comments. I'm Peter Pan Mofo, thanks for watching. That you'll never be lonely Be the fan that's